Hi everyone, um, Happy New Year. Hope you've all had a great Christmas. Um, I just kind of back to reality now. So I've come to share a journal that is um, completed for a swap on Junk Journal Junkies that I'm hosting on there and it's a Valentine romance love themed vintage style journal um, and you have to have your pictures or your video up on the event by the 8th of January um, and then partners will be the 9th and then you've got to I think you've got a few days <coughs> to get it shipped out so that your partner has it for Valentine's hence why it's so early because it'll be Valentine's Day before you know it so this journal here is um, had to be approximately six by four, no smaller. You could make it bigger if you wish, but you could get a six by four in return. There had to be three signatures, which I've got three signatures in here. Um, I used various um, digital kits in this. Um, I will link them below. <clears throat> um, I used mainly um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden and I used Love is Chic, um, Enchanted Rose, <coughs> excuse me, and Shabby and Chic. I've used some Marion Smith, some Tsunami Rose and another one, um, and I can't remember the name of the store but like I said I will link them all in the description box below if you want to go over and have a peek. So this one here measures just over six and a half by four and a half with I think it's a two inch spine just over two inch spine um, the signatures are sewn in and you can see it, it's kind of hidden behind this rosette trim which was gifted to me by Teresa Rogers so thank you Teresa I've had this for months and now I've used it it's so pretty and it feels lovely um, <clears throat> I've got some pearl trim here which was gifted to me from Crafty Irina thank you Irene um, she sent me two rolls of this about a year ago and I've still got loads left um, <clears throat> The front cover here is um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden and it's so soft and shabby and romantic looking you couldn't not use it in your journal. And this here is from uh, Marion Smith. Smith, sounding really common then, Smith from Marion Smith. Um, I've got a seam binding closure which was white to start with and I've just inked it up using some Victorian velvet <clears throat> and there's just eyelets here so that it doesn't pull on the um, front and back cover. So let's go inside. Um, my hands are freezing. It's quite cold outside here in my shed because I haven't been in it for ages. Um, <clears throat> and I've not long come in. So inside the front cover we've got um, a doily pocket with some hearts here and that just adds a little bit of strength. And it says love here. And I've done some stamping. All the pages and tags <clears throat> have been coffee dyed. Um, I've got a tag here and it says it's the definition of memories. And a file folder. This is Marion Smith and this is from the the Etsy store that I can't remember the name of it. I think it's, it's in Graphy or something like that. I can't remember but like I said I will link it below. I've got a doily here and a paper bag as a pocket so you can tuck things in there and this is from the same kit as this and this is just um <clears throat> this trim here was gifted to me by so you can see it better there by laurie w so thank you laurie she sent me a load of trim and a swap we done last year um so it feels weird saying last year now um we've got a banner here and there's like three layers of hearts there and the back layer is this red mesh so I just ran that through a die on my big shot. Um, doily, tag, some stamping and there is a lot of kind of uh, shimmer going on because I used some of my shimmer water um, which is just water and some micro powders. <clears throat> Here we've got a tag and I just stamped a little butterfly. Um, this is some graph paper it can be written on some stamping oops here we've got a little pocket and I just um, I found these via Pinterest um, and I'll be honest I don't know why but they didn't <clears throat> print so clear that they're slightly hazy but you know you really can't see it either that is just my eyesight because I'm not wearing my glasses but they are there's a slight haze to it but 
they, you can still read it perfectly. So I just put them together with a brad. <clears throat> you can take them out and move them around the book if you wish, whoever my partner is going to be. Um, just some border punching there and a doily. Here I've just made a pocket from some coffee dyed paper and got a book. Um, used a book page and cut out some scallop circles and a doily. And this can actually be used as a tuck as well because it's opened like that. And we've got some a double gold glitter heart there. And the pocket's functional and you can fit, fit things in the back. Here I just punched out some glittery hearts and we've got a, an envelope that you can put things inside <clears throat> and it's opened here so you can tuck things in behind it as well and it says forever. Um, these are just designed on the um, craft artist. Um, so I just made some like little, uh, like ATC size they are and I just mounted them onto the tags. And that says remember and this is the center of the signature with um, a pocket just to hide the stitching um, these are just some uh, like tiled letters so I put love on there and here we've got a belly band and it's got some bling and it says happiness um, <clears throat> this is my little lacy heart pocket um, so it was just some cardstock which I border punched some um, lace that Laurie had sent me, Laurie W, and some seam binding bows. And here is a um, pocket from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I do believe there's something inside. There's a little journaling card inside there. So that just pops in there like so. Just made a <clears throat> simple um, paper clip and a, a banner on there some mason jars and I've done some stamping on that and it says I love you um, this was a stamp set and I just stamped it fussy cut it out and I joined this together because it wasn't actually together and it says you and me forever um, doily some paper here we've got um, an envelope which is used as a tuck this side and you can tuck things in there and in there here I've done some stamping and got a little tag there, opens up and you can tuck things inside here as well. Some graph paper, <coughs> definition stamp and it says love. And this is one that doesn't actually fit in, oh, just a tad too, too big for that so that's why it's there. But you can put things inside the pocket and that's from the jelly bean soup dye. Uh, a book page pocket here with the flower that I need to put some bling on um, and it says love this just looking for something so it's opened here it's is it opened there yes it's opened there and not there so you've got the pocket behind and in there <clears throat> this is the other side of the paper bag I need to get a move on it's eight minutes already um, this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, isn't that pretty? So we've got a paper bag here. There is plenty of places to um, to journal. So I've just stamped a um, like an entwined heart there. Some more graph paper, some stamping, another banner. Just a, a banner down here and it's got remember that <clears throat> something incredibly wonderful is always possible. <laughs> I can read that upside down. Uh, this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Here we've got some um, of these pockets with some tags and this says cherish. Um, I've just put a heart on there and you could write in there. You and me. Here we've got another one of these tags and this is what I made up on the craft artist. It says love. <clears throat> Little banner here. Um, live life to the full. It's a little mason jar. Some more hearts. Um, you have all my love. 
another, this is from the <clears throat> Marion Smith digital kit and it's kind of based on like the romance novel. So that goes in there. Oh, here we haven't got a tag. I'll put that little mason jar in there, it's got little hearts on it. Um, some journaling spots. Uh, here, oh that seems to have stuck itself down. I've got an envelope so you can put things inside there and inside there. This is from Ephemeris Vintage Garden and the playing cards are from there too. Journaling card, another one of these lacy heart pockets. Um, here is a uh, tuck spot. Another tuck spot there. <clears throat> it says beautiful and that flips out. The other side of paper bag, which can't open because my hands are so cold. There we go. And again, this is a famous vintage garden. And this is the last signature. This is uh, Tsunami Rose. Another banner, paper bag, and this is what's on the front cover, but I just downsized it. <clears throat> this is Live, Love, Laugh. Definition of love. Uh, Crafty Irina had sent me these, so I just use them as um, like envelope tucks. We've got a little journaling card here. And that's opened there, so you can put things inside there. Another pocket. This is Always and Forever. This is the centre of the signature. This is from... <clears throat> Ephemeris Vintage Garden and it says love, a little postcard journaling spot inside there. It says admit one, kiss kiss, again I made this up on Craft Artist. Um, that's just a little tuck there from the side of the other side of the bag. Some more journaling tags and a pocket. This envelope is from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. <clears throat> and that tucks in there just like so. And this just wants to close. <laughs> um, remember life's treasures are people, not things. Paper bag. Doily. Here I just made a little book from some of the downsized paper uh, kit from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Somewhere to journal. <clears throat> Another pocket that says hugs. And that is the back. So that is my journal. Um, it is scrummy. Well, I think it's scrummy anyway. Um, <clears throat> I hope whoever, if I get a partner, because sometimes I don't get partnered off. Depends on how many people take part. Um, if not, I'll maybe be on the hunt for to do a swap with someone. <laughs> um, so yeah, all the links will be below. If you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.